Okay, Dan. Um, rather than using Soto, who I was using with, with some of the other guys, um, I didn't think that would be as applicable as an example to you just because he's got a bigger leg kick in the way that he takes his stride. Um, I wanted to pick somebody that strides more like you, so I'm back to Arenado again because there's one movement very early in your swing that I want you to continue to work on. Um, as you are taking your stride, two things. We're getting a little bit more up and down, up and down, and when you get the toe touch, you're still really, oops, you're still really stacked up on your back side, which makes it really difficult to get in a, an efficient turn from. The other thing is, as we watch and take a look at your back knee, as you are going to toe touch, see your back knee starts coming in? The other thing is, as you're going to toe touch, watch your hands, and you'll see that they start coming forward before we're even getting to toe touch there. Then, as a result of that, as we get to heel down, you can see how you've started to create this longer around movement. See so your hands ride down, hands are riding down, 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 to heel down, which sets ourselves up in a position where we're going to be more around. See how we get more around? Okay. Now, Arenado, who does not pick his foot up like you, let's go back to our swing, watch as he goes forward, see how he's going to get more weight off of his back leg, and more importantly, watch his back knee and watch his hands. His back knee, let's just watch his back knee, see how it hasn't started to turn yet, versus as we watch your back knee, as you get a little up down, see how your back knee is coming in as you start to get to toe touch. Now, as we just watch hands and watch hands, watching Arenado's, you can see how he's still back as he got to toe touch. As we watch your hands, you can see how they start coming forward and apart actually a little bit as we're getting into toe touch. So then as we get to heel down in immediate preparation, you can see how you've set yourself up to be a little bit here and then around, whereas Arenado, as we get into heel strike and immediate preparation, see that he's still up in the slot. So you don't need to change your style at all. Here you can see a guy like Arenado is doing the same kind of thing you're doing. We just need to make your stride be more out versus up and down. Again, you can kind of see how he goes out. Even You're not going to get out as far as him. He's a much larger human being, right? You don't have to get to that effect. But we want to get it going more out than up and down because it's that move there, that move there as you're coming down, that then sets you up to be around through your swing. Whereas, again, you can see he's straight out, then as he gets heeled down, he's able to get straight to and long through.